All right, one thing you're gonna have to do on the Shangdong Eagles, perhaps on all these Chang Li style, is remove this plastic covering on the seats. It's a pain in the butt. You have to, oops, you have to take the nuts off the bottom, take the seat completely out, and then remove, I'll show you when I get the seat out, but you have to pretty much disassemble the seat to get all that plastic off. They do try and do somewhat of a good job. There was plastic covering this handle, plastic on this one. Forgive me for jumping around a little bit. This is a big issue I'm working on now. The distance between these two mounts, and they're not bent properly. See, they didn't weld it tight to there. Anyway, this is too narrow. For this. Yep can't bolt it on. So, I've taken a, a couple pieces of, uh, this is actually uprights for one of these metal shelf type things. And I can bolt through one end and then bolt it to the flange on the truck and then bolt it to the, to the rack. But, I can't put the lights on. There's one of the lights over there. There's three lights that mount across the top. And they are wonderfully supplied with 12 volts through this menagerie. Going to have to seal this up with some caulking. I don't know if water is going to try and get in there or not. Perhaps not if it's all poured in hot. Well, we don't want water to get in there and then freeze and thaw. But this is supposed to come on hot with the headlights. But I've already decided that I will uh, intercept that wire up in here somewhere and put a switch on it so that these headlight, these uh, spotlights aren't on at all times. So, it is coming along. Had a, my lithium battery is way behind schedule. I'm still looking three, three or four weeks out. So I threw six car batteries around. I had to buy a couple of uh, Blems. I only had four, but uh, it runs just fine on six car batteries. Uh, one huge issue that I had, and uh, I'll try and edit in the other video that I got. But the, uh, you can see where the hose attaches to the uh, hydraulic cylinder up there. I had quite a puddle here. The pump and everything worked just fine, but when I uh, overpressured it, when I got up to the limit, I just had a uh, tremendous amount of hydraulic fluid escape from that fitting that wasn't tightened up. So that was sad. But uh, other than that, I guess uh, I'm not too dissatisfied with it. Um, don't really want to reveal what I've got into it total. The, the list price on this was 2,900 bucks. They asked for $300 for shipping to Chicago. Well, that was all well and good. 
until you started adding on the customs charges, the uh, destination charges in Chicago, hauling it to a warehouse, and then getting it from a warehouse in Chicago up here to uh, Madison, Wisconsin, to a warehouse there overnight or over the weekend, and then here on a straight truck on a Tuesday morning. Roughly 10 weeks from the time I paid for it till the time it arrived. So some of the uh, minor things you're gonna need to look at. This is where the uh, windshield washer spray comes out. And, yeah, they don't do any type of adjustment on them. So they were just spraying right out over onto my Sierra, which I wasn't too happy about, but it's just windshield wiper fluid, right? I uh, think I've decided not to even put the front bumper on. It looks like it's got a bumper kind of like a bumper on a regular car. But I don't want to put the big Nerf bumper on the front. I just think it looks ugly. Some people might like it. It, uh... I can't even see where it's supposed to bolt on to. I have to get on there and look, just so I know. But, uh... And it fits in my... Up at the house, into my uh, garage at the house better i can pull it all the way in and uh still have access to our the ramp going into our house so still a uh, lot to do little things but uh still waiting to see uh when the battery charger comes if it's gonna screw right into there or plug right into that I'm gonna have to change that out but it's quick quicker than I thought it would be the steering is an issue um, I'll try and get back to that again later I'm not gonna pop the hood and show you the steering mechanism but uh, a lot of revolutions. Got to turn the steering wheel quite a few times, and it does not have a very tight turning radius. You have to have plenty of room to turn around, or you're going to be doing Y turns, which isn't too bad of a thing. They do put a nice little uh, step here, but as you can see, my big boots don't get in there. There are uh, door dings because it's on the passenger driver's side door. Had a couple, has a pretty good sized ding in it. Looks like it was just painted right over. Oh, here's, there's some issues here, but you know, it's three grand, right? Got to get some of these stickers off of here. Not a big fan of the uh, stickers they've got. One windshield wiper. As you can see, it <laughs> it cleans most of the windshield. Yeah, the uh, rear view mirror is attached via a suction cup. Haven't had any issues with that yet. The uh, sunroof up here is accessed by squeezing these and flipping it out pushing it up and I had it up and then I couldn't get it closed because you got to really pinch the hell out of these again to get it to shut Yeah, there's a fan here and a fan over there, operated with switches. The light 
It's operated off the center switch. I don't have the ignition on. It's, they do work. Electric uh, windows, they work just fine. There's a uh, reverse forward and neutral. The emergency brake, I gotta tighten that up in the rear. The cables were just slopped on there and uh, not uh, adjusted properly. It does have pretty cool uh, four-wheel disc brakes. Four-wheel disc brakes. Kind of cool. But the emergency brake, see, is really loose. Pretty shoddy. But uh, it is what it is. So I'll just uh, tighten that up here. And uh, get me get more uh, oomph out of the uh, e-brake. See that everything is just zip tied up here. <laughs> this went so fast. They had to do this so fast. Everything is just hanging. So well, that's going to have to be some clips installed. But uh, yeah. Trying to decide whether or not I want to spray undercoating on the whole thing. As much as I use it out in the weather, I think I'm not going to. And just see how long it lasts. I mean, it probably will outlast me. I'll be 65 this year. Oh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna bleed the brakes when I get a someone to come over for a, a beer. We're gonna bleed the brakes because they're a little bit spongy. Well, that's enough for today. This is my 2023. Oh, bang my head. Good thing I had a hat on. Forgive my camera skills or lack thereof. This is my 2023. Electric mini dump truck, which I would like to refer to as a mini electric utility vehicle, not a truck. Because I would like to register it as a UTV and be able to drive it on town roads in northern Wisconsin. It would be a great little thing for small towns up north. All right, well, this is Marty, signing off for now. Ciao.